Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Pam and today we're going to talk about baby step number one and how I got started with saving my first thousand dollars. Stay tuned. Okay Butterflies, let's get started. I had some savings and um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I got sick in December and then the twins and um, Janae got sick in January and I left urgent care. Um, yeah, left urgent care with each one of them owing $144 and went to the pharmacist where they so graciously told me that all three of their medicine, Brianna had bronchitis, Kiana had the flu, and Janae had the flu. And their medicine was $379. Uh, excuse me, hello? <laughs> hello? Did you say with the three in US currency? <laughs> what? Who oh, clutched my pearls? Did you really say that? And they was like, yes, ma'am. And I was like, and she said that that's with the insurance. Can you run it on their dads and see if it's any better? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Kiana's went down from like 116 to 99. $17. That's it. Uh, okay. All right. So I had to hurry up, switch my money out of, and, and don't get me wrong, there's a other series of events that had kind of depleted that, that grand that was already in there. Um, and it was probably more than a grand because I wasn't really doing baby steps at that time, but other things had kind of kind of chipped. You know, it's once you go in it, Lord, you just chip, chip, chip. It's like a 20. You'll never see what's in that 20 ever again, ever again, once you break that 20. So I said, okay, let me switch the money over. Let me tell y'all how bad it was. They ran it as a credit. <laughs> My credit union <laughs> denied it because I never spend that much money on that, that debit card. So they denied it. I had to go in and, and because I was through the drive through and I had to go in and key in my pin number so they knew it was me. <sighs> Thank God I had the money but it took the breath out of me. It literally took the breath out of me. I was like, Lord, if anything happens, I am close to having not lots of money to fall back on with three kids and anything could happen. I couldn't even pay my deductible on my car. God forbid I got in a car accident. I was like, what is this? And it's not like I don't make decent money, y'all, I do. But it was so much that spending analysis. If you haven't, if you haven't seen that, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll link it. That spending analysis, it got me. Yeah. So I had to, I had to pray hard. God, don't let anything bad happen, cause I don't have a cushion, not a good cushion. I had a little cushion, but not a big cushion. So when I got my taxes back, I decided that it was right before I decided to do Dave Ramsey. And so I had a plan of exactly what I was planning on doing. And a part of that was to get my household caught up on everything. Um, and then my other thing was to complete baby step one. I put that money in my credit union because I don't normally use that particular account. And so it's not as accessible to me. I don't even carry the debit card in my in my wallet. I just don't. So I have to actually think about it. So um yeah. I had to be intentional with my taxes. I had to tell it exactly where I needed it to go. So that's what I did. Baby step one, if you don't know is saving $1,000 for a baby emergency fund. If you earn less than $20,000, you need to save $500. This is just to kind of meet you where you are. It's not to say that you're not going to have more income later in your career. It just means that 
it's taking off the extra stress for right now. So I had to save a thousand. Um, I don't think about it. I just leave it over there and pray that I never have to use it. But if I have to use it, like, you know, the emergency with the pharmacist and urgent care, then I had it to use it. Um, and so it takes a little bit of the stress. Now, it's not a regular emergency fund. That's baby step three, um, where you're doing three to six months. And we'll go over that a little later. But baby step one is very imperative. And it's imperative that you guys do this stuff in order. It is not rocket scientists. You know, Dave has preached and teach this forever and a day. I told you I took the class, Financial Peace University, almost 10 years ago. He hasn't changed on his principles. Um, and so they've worked. If you just go to his his channel on YouTube, that's what powers me is hearing all of these people say I'm debt free. I mean, they are literally screaming from the depths of their stomach that they're debt free. And I'm going to go on that show. He's going to let me on that show. I don't care if I'm 60. I'm going on that show. And I'm going to say I'm debt free. And I want you to say that you're debt free. So join me. So um, don't forget the Facebook group, Pam Meets World, Ditching the Debt. Do a search on Facebook. We'll let you in. We'll support each other. We'll celebrate our wonderful um, achievements and accomplishments, whether it's saving, whether it's getting baby step zero out of the way and catching up on everything and, and figuring out what your why is. Or you could be finishing up baby step number one or heading on into baby step number two. You paid off a credit card. You... Um, what, I don't care what it is, y'all. I just want to celebrate with each other. I want to support each other. So, um, make sure that you do a search for the Facebook group. Welcome to all of our new subscribers. I love you guys, all my butterflies. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Make sure you hit the bell so it'll notify you each time that I upload a video. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And until next time, butterflies, love you.